Hello, this is Gene Irwin, founder of the 3D Business Launch Model. And today we're going to talk to you about part two, optimize your business startup with a focus checklist on how to set up your own home-based business. You'll optimize your business startup with focus checklist four-part series. This is part two. Before we begin, we want to give you a two-minute quiz. Think you have what it takes to start your own business? Find out now in less than two minutes. Download the link that you see here and take the quiz accordingly. Success is the progressive realization of predetermined worthwhile personal goals. Crystallize your goals. Make a plan for achieving them and set yourself a deadline. Then with supreme confidence, determination and disregard for obstacles and other people's criticisms, carry out your plan. From Paul J. Meyer. Completing your focus checklist in part number two is that worthwhile personal goal. Stage two, C, marketing. 10 mini steps, online video review. Number one, you must have a passion for your business. We go into detail about how to develop the passion for your business, your products and services, and the clients that you're gonna support. There's a link there that you can access the following video. And it's designed to help you understand how to start a home-based business series. Step one, passion. Number two, discover two to three business ideas. Again, another link for that video. And that's to help you determine of the hundreds of business opportunities and things that you can do to create a business from your home or your from home office, garage, apartment, or even a storage center. You can discover two or three business ideas that you can develop quickly, operate, and become successful at in less than 30 days. Starting a home-based business, all steps in one video. Step number two, discover two or three businesses of interest. Number three, is there a need for your business? It's important you understand this step. There's a video that I've developed for that purpose to help you understand what it takes to create your own home-based business based on determining if there's a need for your type of business. It's important that you go through these steps one at a time in sequence so you can find the best opportunity for you and your family at the same time making sure that there's a need for your business. Number four, just as important, how large is your market? This video linked here will show you how large your market is and teach you how to determine that, whether it's local, regional, nationwide or worldwide, is your market something that's of value to your clients and value to you? This particular video, step number four, how large is your market, will help you understand how to determine how big your market is and if it's sustainable for you and your family. Number five, what are your barriers to market entry? What does that mean? Well, barriers to market entry simply means there are things that are gonna hold you back from creating your business. It could be competition, it could be there's no market for it. It could be that you don't understand how to run that type of business. It could be that you don't have the education or experience or quickly learn the experience to carry out and run that type of business. All of these things are called barriers to market entry. Video number five, what are your barriers to market entry? Number six, who are your competitors? How do you find out? Where do you go to find out what your competitors are doing and who they are? Well, maybe you can go to trade shows, maybe you can talk to your clients of your competitors and find out what their competitor, your competitor is doing well and what they're not doing well. And to see if there's an opportunity for you to take some of that competition out of your thinking and away from your clients. Number seven, how do you solve the client's needs better? Remember, in order to have a business, there must be a need for your type of product and the business product development must be large enough in order to sustain your business for years to come. So it's important to understand how to develop that type of business and what kind of needs the clients have and how to solve them better. Step number eight, what are your competitive advantages? And there are many. Take a look at this video, it'll help you understand what your competitive strengths and weaknesses are and how to develop that process for you and your team. Number nine, what skills do you still need? Just because you want to start a business doesn't mean you have all the steps and skills necessary to do so. This particular video will help you cover some of those skills and make sure that you have what you need to begin your business. That's step number nine, what skills do you still need? Number 10, licenses review. 
almost all businesses have to have licenses of some type, whether it's city, local, state, or federal, in order to operate your business. Take a look at that lesson and look at that video, step 10, licensing issues. Now, we're gonna provide you a bonus section. We're going to assume that your business is up and running, or soon will be, and we wanna give you some advantages. Advantages number A, business owners, critical questions. These are questions that you must answer for yourself understand everything about your business. Number B, your business SWOT analysis. What does SWOT mean? SWOT means strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And finally, C, Shark Tank's key indicators. There's a key financial ratios that help you understand and those that are in your uh, support system, perhaps bankers, investors, clients, and friends on how well your business is going to do. So let's begin. Business owners, critical questions, Bonus A, it's important you understand that there are certain critical questions that you must answer for yourself and understand what your strengths and weaknesses are and understand if you're ready to start your own home-based business. We're not going to do this without some advice from me, your mentor, and from all the work that we've done in the last 30 years to help people do millions of dollars worth of business. And yes, I've created millions and millions of dollars for companies. Now it's time to do some of that for you. Can't guarantee that your business is gonna be a million dollar business, we're gonna do everything we can to give it the most optimal mix possible. B, your business SWOT analysis, or strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. How do you go through that type of analysis, and why should you? You should because there's probably things you forgot or didn't know about. You should because you wanna make sure that you can handle any threats to your business, whether it's finances, whether it's supply channels, whether it's competition, or whether it's trouble or internal turmoil that might cause a problem with your business opportunity. And finally, number C, Shark Tank's key indicators. These are financial ratios that help you understand what bankers and investors look at in order to help you grow your business. It's critical that you know all of these numbers. If you watched Shark Tank before and had a chance to look at their types of businesses that they look for, which includes repeat business as well as growth and opportunity, then you'll understand the type of business that will succeed well into the future. That's the goal here is to help you succeed in your business. And the bonus section of business owners' critical questions, your business SWOT analysis, and Shark Tank's key indicators are all designed to help you succeed in your business. In other words, we want to optimize your business startup with Focus Checklist four-part series, part two. This is Gene Irwin, the founder of the 3D Business Launch Model, wishing you well in all that you do. We're looking forward to hearing from you, and we certainly want to help you succeed. Give us a call at 800-750-8767, or you can write to me at gene at geneirwin.com. We'll look at it with our staff and decide if we can help you or not. Happy to do so, but make sure you take time to take that two-minute quiz. Do you think you have what it takes to start your own business? We'll find out now in less than two minutes. Download this link and immediately download your results and you'll get a chance to understand what we're looking for to help you succeed in your business. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. This is Gene Irwin, founder of the 3D Business Launch Model, helping you understand how to optimize your business startup with a focus checklist, part number two. You have a great day.